This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my uh, Cub Cadet CC 30H. I bought it about uh, a couple months back. <clears throat> I think it was in uh, April of uh, 2020. It's right now, we just started uh, May. It's May 6th, 2020. And I've only mowed the lawn twice with this. I like to let my lawn grow quite a bit before I mow it. So I thought I'd show you some of the features. First of all, it's yellow. So as you can see here, here's my favorite feature, the cup holder. You can put your favorite beverage there. It's your choice. And according to one of my uh, commenters, you're only supposed to operate this thing in fast when you're mowing. I read the manual and he was correct. You're only supposed to mow in fast. You only use the slow to cruise around to go through gates, uh, just to, uh, for the parades, whatever. Next to that, you have the ignition switch module right next to the throttle choke control. Of course, you can control, put this in reverse and uh, normal driving mode. You can start the engine with that. <clears throat> This side of the mower, as you can see here, is pretty close to the ground. The cutting blade is in the medium position, but it's touching the ground because I have a divot right there. And uh, so it's, uh, that side is scalping the grass. While uh, right down there, it's a little high, okay? So it's a little askew. Let's go over some of the other features. Up front here, that's the uh, brake lever. You have to have the brake down when to start the engine. Okay. There's a little bumper. Yeah, the front lever for uh, going forward, the rear lever for going backwards, okay? To the right there, you can see where you can pour the gas. And uh, there's the PTO, is in the back here, that's the PTO. That's when you engage the blade, you move it backwards to disengage, move it down to engage. And you should only have the PTO engaged at high speed, apparently. You could probably do it up, you know, slow, but it'll cause some damage, apparently, according to one of my uh, reviewers. There's the grass heights. I have it at one, two, three. I have it right on three. I have my trimming mower at three, a similar height, so I can match, you know, some areas of my lawn. I uh, can't mow, uh, you know, at a, in a, I have to mow at the same, same height. In some areas I, I can't mow because it's hard to get to, so I have to use my regular mower. There's the oil filter. Can you see that? It's in the shade there. And there's various elements, and there's the engine, the carburetor, etc., etc. Here's a review of the overhead valve engine, and of course it says there, do not put your feet right there. Does not want you to put your feet there because it's apparently very delicate. So this is a consumer grade light utility mower. What do you think? I'm going to go through the fence and show you how tight a squeeze it is through my little 36 inch fence. Oh, I forgot to show you something. Here's a photo of the parking brake. And of course, the steering wheel and the chair. Of course, the chair can go forward and that's what it looks like under the chair for all your inquisitive types. Of course, when you're off the chair, apparently, supposedly, it, uh, 
turns off the lawnmower and here you can adjust the various functionality. Let's uh, drive this thing through my small gate. I can barely make it through my gate. I have about a half inch on each side, so it's, uh, I have to go slow, not have the uh, blades engaged, and we'll show you that right now. Let's get the show on the road. I'm ready to go through that little fence. It's only 36 inches wide. I have to be very careful because I'm not uh, super experienced. Make sure not to bang to the, either the sides of the mower. Did pretty good there. Yeah, I give myself a thumbs up. Now I'm gonna park the uh, vehicle. I'm gonna press the brake down and shift the lever. And now I'm uh, parked with the engine on. Next, I'm gonna do the reverse. I'm gonna press the uh, brake lever. There I go, press the brake lever and flip the switch. And I have to make sure the engine on, is on fast and uh, engage the PTO so I can mow. And here I go. According to the literature from Cub Cadet, uh, most accidents riding this lawnmower are by folks my age. Anybody over 60 years of age, and I'm 68, so I definitely qualify. So here I'm mowing the lawn just to give you a little show of what I'm, what this uh, mower is up to. Now let's move to the backyard. A lot of weeds in the backyard because I don't uh, use a weed killer back here because my wife has a garden here and we eat the lettuce, we eat the radishes, we eat the tomatoes, we eat the green beans, we eat whatever we put back there, the chiles. And here I go, I got the engine on. And I have it on fast, so we're gonna press the brake and oh my God. No, I'm just joking, I was faking that just like a, the poor actor that I am, that it's uh, out of control, but it wasn't. It, was, it goes pretty slow and fast. So the fast is slow and the slow is super slow. So <laughs> that's how it goes. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. So again, I'm an old dude on a mower. You have to be careful. Uh, you know, apparently, according to Cub Cadet, people over 60 years of age cause a lot of accidents on these uh, lawn mowers. So you gotta watch out when you see one of us old farts on the lawn mower. So this unit is super maneuverable. I really like it. What do you think? If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments below the description. If you have any suggestions, also do that. So this has been a walk around of the Cub Cadet CC30H. Hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. My website is jmmgarza.com. It's a photography website. If you have time, check it out. Why not? Again, from Fort Worth, Texas, gracias, adios, bye-bye.